Here at UPMC, we're one of the leading regional and national referral centers for genital urinary reconstructive surgery. On a daily basis, we do see cases throughout all of the urinary system for reconstructive care. We are one of the highest volume centers in the country for the diseases that inquire adult acquired buried penis, and we do the surgical reconstruction for this in a large volume basis referral, as well as urethral stricture disease and various complex cases that are referred in to us for that. As us being one of the lead facilities in the country for adult acquired buried penis, we've published various papers and videos on this subject. We do have a lead video on the surgical technique for this surgical reconstruction, as well as we've looked at the significant improvements in quality of life in patients that have had this disease and post-surgical treatment, the improvement in quality of life. Other various treatments that we do talk about would be the urethroplasty in patients. Uh, we've lately published a article on the significance of increasing patient safety and decreasing the amount of time that they're in the hospital where we discharge patients on majority the same day of surgery, over 90% of patients. Uh, we do see patients with radiation-induced urinary incontinence and we're currently working on improvements of surgical techniques to decrease risks such as infection or erosion when we place prosthesis in to decrease this significantly high chance of complications in these patients. Here at UPMC, we are constantly growing our reconstructive referral center. We're working on the future to work to go from a traditional prosthetic that's been used since 1980s, same technology, now we're advancing it to Bluetooth technology, which will be available to patients within the next two years. We do look at patients with adult-acquired buried penis, where in the past they were not given much in the way of surgical treatment options, and now we're doing this daily at UPMC and completely improving patients' quality of life with this disease process.